Hi, thank you for visiting our website. This is your portal for information regarding a serious situation facing a Rio Grande Valley citrus. In this video, we will discuss general information about citrus greening, how to identify the Asian citrus psyllid, and how to identify citrus greening symptoms. Citrus greening is a bacterial disease carried by a disease-infected insect, the Asian citrus psyllid. The disease is believed to have originated from Asia. The disease was confirmed in a South Texas commercial citrus grove January 12, 2012. Since that time, various entities have been collaborating their time and efforts to do everything they can to remediate the difficulties associated with greening. Currently, there is no cure for the disease, which makes this all the more serious. The disease slowly spreads through the tree impacting the tree's overall health and quality of the fruit. The fruit itself will become bitter. After infection, the tree will slowly decline and eventually die within five years. As you can see, citrus greening poses a threat to our citrus industry and the heritage that is at the foundation of our valley's history. To have an impact on this disease, we must be diligent in our control of the Asian citrus psyllid. The Asian citrus psyllid is a gnat-sized insect that has a strong attraction to citrus trees. Specifically, the adult psyllid is drawn to the citrus flush, the new growth in which it will feed and lay eggs on that plant material. Once the adult psyllid feeds on the plant material, it either transmits the disease into the tree or in case of feeding on an infected tree, picks up the disease itself. Not all psyllids carry the disease, so it is very important to identify infected trees and remove those trees, limiting the probability of infecting other feeding psyllids. Identifying citrus greening symptoms is very difficult because it is similar to other common citrus ailments. There is a latency period associated with citrus greening, meaning that the tree will be infected with the disease before it starts to show symptoms. Classic greening symptoms include blotchy, mottling, and yellowing of the leaves, dieback resulting in leafless twigs or branches, smaller, lopsided fruit with an orange-brown discoloration. From this video, you can see that the citrus industry and residents of the valley have a challenge to control citrus greening. We encourage all citrus owners to increase their monitoring of their trees and to report any suspicious plant material that you think exhibits the symptoms previously discussed and or any silly sightings. You can take pictures of your trees and submit inquiries on our website at www.southtexascitrusalert.com. You can also find information on how to do your part in saving our citrus on our website as well. With a dedicated effort from our commercial growers and educated public and state and local officials, together we can save a renowned citrus in the Rio Grande Valley.